Hi everybody, this is Daryl with the Into the Darkroom support team. And this is going to be a quick video tutorial on how to create a database using GoDaddy. At this point, we should have already downloaded your blog or blog site and gotten this error. It's asking you to create a configuration file. You go ahead and click on this link, as well as the Let's Go link here as well. WordPress is basically asking us for some general information. The database name, username, password, and database host. This information we're going to actually create uh, in our GoDaddy account. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and log into your GoDaddy account. Once you're logged in, you can go ahead and click on the My Account tab in the upper right hand corner. And this will load a list of different options you have for your account. Go ahead and hit the plus mark next to Web Hosting. And this will bring up all your hosting plans that you have. Uh, so go ahead and click on the green launch button that coincides with the domain name that we're setting this up under. This will open up your hosting control center. And once this loads up, uh, you're going to go ahead and hit the uh, fourth tab along the top. This is database and MySQL. Once this page loads, uh, you're going to go ahead and click on the black link in the upper right hand corner that says create a database. This information is very specific, so you can go ahead and just type in whatever you want. Uh, The rest of the information here, uh, the other links, uh, are, not are not necessary for you to fill out uh, along the right hand side or the read only uh, optional information. So once you put in your uh, description, username, and password, go ahead and click OK. And it'll go into a pending setup stage for about five or ten minutes. You can click the refresh button every once in a while, uh, and then eventually it'll go into a setup stage. So once it's in setup, you're going to go ahead and click on the pencil mark here, and this will bring up the general information for the account. This is what we're going to use on our create a configuration page. So the database name and username happen to be the same exact thing. Now we're going to go ahead and put in our password, and we're, once we get to the database host, we're going to go back to GoDaddy. We're going to copy this nice long link here. Once it's copied, go ahead and paste it in, and you can go ahead and leave the table prefix alone. So once you have the database name, username, password, and the database host filled out, go ahead and hit submit. At this point, you're going to get one of two things. You're either going to get an error in connecting the database, so at this point, you should just verify the information, make sure that everything is accurate, or you're going to get this screen, which is um, your basic WordPress uh, next step. So go ahead and click run the install and it will ask you to create your welcome information. The site title, um, it can be whatever you want. You can always go ahead and change this later on. Uh, the username by default is admin. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as is. And I'm going to create a password and fill out my email address. So once you have this information all done, you're going to go ahead and click on install WordPress and it will go through the final steps of creating it. Go ahead and log in. And now we are in WordPress. If this is your first time here, um, there are other tutorials uh, that we have that will help you with uh, maneuvering around WordPress. Uh, for the rest of you guys, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Appearance and Themes. And you're going to see whatever theme that you have in your list. Um, mine happens to be the Dota theme. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Activate. Once you hit Activate, you are pretty much good to go from here on out. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or uh, the next steps that you have in the process, please feel free to contact us uh, or uh, through the ticketing system or by phone. Uh, our email is customer.service at intothedarkroom.com. Again, customer.service at intothedarkroom.com. Thanks. Have a good day.